The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. Here now to get us started is Logan Cook, and we are underway from Cincinnati. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here we go. 12, 12, 12. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave pass, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think that it's going to be a pass. Airing one out for Boyd. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. I know it backfired with the interception, but no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop them from trying again the rest of this game. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On first and 10, it's ETN. And some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Credit the sack to the safety, Jesse Bates. Well, a free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Now Lawrence... Escaping the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. And that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Well, they're sending out an early memo that points are not going to be easy to come by in this one. A block here in the opening quarter, what a block it was. I love how you talked about sending out a memo. I know of one special teams coach who leaves a note in the lockers of guys he wants on his special teams. A direct invitation to them. He wants them to have the pride in what they're doing. This group showed it right there. A big effect on this game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, 
they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Burrow. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Burrow. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson to about the 33-yard line. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The run got yeah. four. Now they deal with a second and six. Straight ahead, ETN. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. on first down that's caught by his tight end Evan Ingram and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line and he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end a guy that you can line up anywhere in the slot out wide in tight doesn't really matter because he has such great skills you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense and there he was in the slot for the catch On second and very short, Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Second and short, that's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Lawrence. He'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. That right, gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, 
But that's a nice job to trip a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. On second down, a run with ETN. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. James Robinson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jags post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Bengals drive about to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. On the delay, it's Mixon. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Here we go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Foyas.